Hey guys, I am so excited. I am here at Seoul Restaurant, a one Michelin star restaurant here in Athens. It is run by Chef Tasos Mantis and he actually has a private garden in one of the villages in Greece. And that's where he sources a lot of his herbs and ingredients. So this is very interesting because his restaurant is known for being organic, sustainable, and creative and unique for a Greek cuisine. So I can't wait to try it. doing the 95 euro 15 course tasting menu but I also added the add-on for the Japanese Wagyu course it's an additional course that you can do so my total would be 16 courses and I also did the supplement to change the scallop to a lobster yes they said you get the whole lobster tail for it so these herbs and spices come from the chef's garden and they actually let you take it home so cool This is the shrimp course with orange, pecans, and marigold. So they said to try the shrimp on its own. Mm, so sweet. Kind of reminds me of Botan Ebi. And then they said to mix these ingredients here with a spoon. Mm, oh my gosh, the flavors, the cream, the citrus and the herbs they all mix together so well so they said the shrimp is rambari shrimp this is the oyster course it has oyster caviar some figs and fermented cucumber so they said to one shot this entire thing mm. wow the flavors just burst it's like you're tasting the sea with the caviar the oyster was just so full of flavor and once you put everything in your mouth as just a flavor explosion. So this is cool, they bring out the Alapahori box. Alapahori is the name of the village where the chef has his gardens. So they bring out the box to show you the bounty and the produce that comes from the garden, but also the other meats and seafoods that you're gonna have in the courses. So this is the amberjack course with pickled lemon, kohlrabi, and clams. And it's also topped with a lot of the herbs and flowers that's grown in the chef's garden. Mm. So this beautiful dish here is a tomato course and it has strawberries, oil from basil, and pistachio. Mm. So fresh. Acidity from the tomato really mixes well with the sweetness of the strawberry. And so fresh. And the basil adds some kick to it. This white wine right here is from Piritis and it uses the grape Asiritiko, which is the most popular grape in Greece. So this is smoked eel with teriyaki and miso. Mm. So flavorful. And it has a nice chew. The meat is still very tender. But the exterior is smoked really well. So this is the eel mini burger with guanciale, vaduvan, and brinette. We said to eat it in one bite. Mm. The cream is so rich and flavorful. I did not expect that. The mini burger bun soaks up all the juices so that so much juice releases when you bite into the bread. So this here is the beef course with horseradish, ramson caper, and then the powder here is plum. Mm. 
that you can see the chunks of beef tartar. So fresh, so good. So this one is an Aspuda of Ceres wine. And Aspuda is a grape varietal that can only be found in the Ceres region, which is in the northern part of Greece. So this one here, the broth is made from the shell of the lobster. Mm. So it's a pretty good add-on because you get three mini courses from that one lobster. And this broth though, it's so good. Like you really taste the full lobster. I don't even want to waste the broth. I'm gonna drink all of this. This one here is lobster with different herbs and flowers on top. Mm. That lobster is so fresh. Even on its own, it tastes amazing already. Just having the herbs and flowers just adds a little dimension to it. Mm. So this one here, the lobster has cream of lobster as well. Look how rich it is. Can't wait to dig in. And this here has some grape as well. Mm, that cream is so good. Add a bit of everything here. So it's the cream of grape that adds the acidity and the citrusness to the heavier, richer cream of lobster. So I was very glad that I did the lobster add-on. So with the lobster add-on, I got the three dishes in one course for the extra 45 euro. And when I asked them, they said if I stuck with the scallop, it would just be one dish instead of the three that I got with the lobster. And the one scalp dish would be similar to the lobster dish with the cream and the grape sauce. So this is a surprise mini course. It's homemade bread with some nuts in it. And this is also homemade butter from goat's milk. This is the cod chorus with kombu beurre blanc, wild garlic, and chives. Mm. The cod just melts in your mouth. So tender. The beurre blanc is so flavorful. It has some nice flavor profile of like, there's some sour notes, there's some umami notes, and there's some nice kick to it from the chives. Mm. So this is the goat chorus and underneath you have the apromitico bean from Limnos made into a cream and then there's also XO sauce surrounding it. So here I have some red wines from the Timiopoulos vineyard. It's apparently one of the most popular vineyards from the northern Greece. Very sweet for a red actually. But it has a nice bold and complex flavors and a rich texture, really easy to drink, very flavorful. The goat. Mm. Wow. So the goat actually is super tender. I was not expecting that. And the bean adds some creaminess and richness as you bite into the goat. The exo sauce, very garlicky, so flavorful. The goat is so tender. It reminded me of like eating a wagyu beef. That's why I was like, wow. So this is the add-on Japanese A5 wagyu from Kagoshima. So there's mustard seeds, chives, and there's a broth as well. Mm. Oh my god, it just melts so tender, so juicy. You get the kick from the mustard seed. But the overall, it makes the Wagyu beef shine so well. So this broth underneath is artichoke broth. And that's why it's subtle and doesn't take away from the Wagyu beef. And it helps make the Wagyu beef more juicy. So when you bite into it, it just explodes. So I like that they actually gave a knife for each like meat or seafood course. But honestly, you don't need a knife. All the meats and seafood are so tender, it's so good. You don't need a knife to cut through it. So this here is the lemon core, so there's some lemon sorbet. There's another lemon curd topped with caramel on it. 
and it's some various flowers like marigold. It serves as a palate cleanser. And what we pour to it is tea actually. Very surprising, but it does help cleanse the palate as well as the high acidity of the lemon. This is very interesting. So this bread course is very similar to that surprise bread I had a while ago. But this bread is turned into a dessert. So this one at the bottom is actually caramelized bread instead of the actual bread. And then this top is the sabayon made from the similar ingredients as the butter that was served a while ago. It looks so creamy inside. Let's try it. Mm. Wow, it's so creamy. Oh, this is very addictive. Mm. You get some crunch, you get some very creamy, you get some sweet as well, but not too sweet, which I enjoy. So good. So for the alcohol pairing, instead of a dessert wine, I ended up picking the espresso martini. I love espresso martini and being in Greece, I think it's one of their specialty cocktails that they're popular for and since they're also known for coffee I'm sure the coffee beans they use would be Greek coffee and it should be really good. Mm. It has a strong coffee taste. Love it. You get a nice foam on top. Um, you don't really taste alcohol which can be very dangerous because I can just drink this straight up and not even think I'm drinking alcohol. And this is my kind of bread. Watch me finish this entire plate clean. So I want to show you guys as well what it looks like at night. It's also very beautiful and very intimate. So this is the final set of desserts. They gave it to you all at once, but they also give you the magic box of chocolates where you get to try the different chocolates they have to offer. So this is the macaron, cocoa, and mint. I think the mint and, and cocoa has a nice balance. Normally, I'm not a super fan of of mint based desserts but this one is very subtle where it doesn't like overpower the macaron and you still taste a strong flavor from the cacao so this one here is the pate de fruit and it's chamomile and lime for me it's, it's very sweet because of all the sugar coating in it you do taste the lime i don't taste the chamomile so much and i think it's because of all the sugar coating around it so for the chocolate, it's very interesting because they give four different ones. And they said to try this one first. It's made of pine and it also has some lime. So there's some tart and there's some earthy umami notes to it. Mm. I remember now, it's praline of pine. And it's so good actually. I don't think pine can be this good. It has a pine taste, but it also has a yummy praline flavor. So this is the next one they said to try. So it's actually hard, like a shell outside, but inside it's like cream of lime and it just hits you like a palate cleanser. This is the next one they said to try. They said it's false pepper with almonds. So that's very interesting. It's the first time I've heard of the term false pepper. So basically they said it has the spiciness of a pepper but without using a pepper. It's starting to melt, so I have to eat this. Mm. Oh wow, they do get the peppery nest taste. When you're biting into it, it pops like pop rocks. Once it settles, that's when the almond hits you. And this is the last one they said to try. It's 100% cacao. Mm. It's so rich. It actually like sticks to your mouth. This one isn't sweet. It's pretty dark and bitter. And that's why they said to keep this last. Because if you eat this first, it pretty much takes over your entire palate and you won't be able to taste much of the other chocolate. I had such a great time here at Coral. I highly recommend checking it out. Chef, what's your inspiration for your dishes? Like, how do you come up with it? 
Yeah, we have a garden in Kalibokori and all the herbs and vegetables for our garden. It is space for us. We have a philosophy and walking. And this is the menu that you get to keep as your souvenir for dining at Soil. So this is the damage for my entire meal here at Soil. So if you're in Athens, I highly recommend checking out Soil Restaurant. You won't be disappointed, especially for the price, like 95 euros for 14 to 15 courses for a one Michelin star restaurant. It's such a good price. You won't really find that kind of pricing. For example, in Toronto, like that kind of meal would be around 200 to 300 dollars already. And honestly, you don't really need to do the add-ons that I did. You don't even need to do wine pairing, like the base summer menu or the base tasting menu of like 95 euros is already really, really good. I splurged a little because it was my birthday a few days ago, so I wanted a special celebration. And also I found the extra add-ons they did, like the lobster and the wagyu to be worth it for me. For example, I didn't do the caviar because I find it's more of a luxury, more than adding and enhancing the experience. And it was really way more expensive than I was willing to budget for. So, highly recommend. It's such a great experience.